I'm Terry Smart from Chestnut Products. Now previously we've prepared the wood, we've sanded it down, got it nice and smooth and we've sealed it to make sure we've got a great foundation for the next coating that goes on. And what we're going to do today is put that coating on and I'm going to be using a wax for that simply because it's one of the simplest and easiest ways of finishing something and in particular our wood wax 22 will do the job for you first time every time now it's a blend of beeswax and carnauba wax the beeswax helps give it a shine the carnauba wax makes it just that little bit harder wearing and if we have a look in the can you can see it's a soft paste so that makes it very easy to use and very easy to spread it's also very quick drying, so you'll get a very quick instant result with it. So let's try it out. This is the piece I've already sealed with the cellulose sanding sealer, but you can use this over the shellac sanding sealer or over the acrylic sanding sealer. It's pretty much universal. So I just take some of that out on the cloth. As you see, it breaks up very easily, it transfers onto the cloth very quickly. So we wipe that over the surface. And as we first of all put it on, it's gliding over the surface quite happily, but after about 15 or 20 seconds, you'll feel it start to drag slightly on the cloth. That means that the wax is ready to buff up. It's just gone now. I can feel that now. I've covered the whole surface, so I'm quite happy to buff that up. I've been using our safety cloth for application and that's ideal for it because you want something with a slight texture that will help spread the wax in a nice thin coat. As with all finishing, the thinner the coating, the less prone it is to getting damaged. So that's perfect. You can even use white nyweb for that. So as I say, that's ready to buff up. We'll let the lathe do the work for us. So we'll turn the lathe on. Clean piece of cloth. We just press against it. Fairly firm pressure. The lathe does the work and we polish up. Now polishing up straight away is important because it's almost inevitable that you'll put slightly too much wax on. Buffing it straight away will remove the surplus wax and you'll know if you've got it wrong because you'll get streaks in your work. So make sure that you buff it up straight away. Don't leave it 15 or 20 minutes. And you can see there the slight amount of wax that's coming off. There's not a lot there, but it's the surplus wax that you don't want on the surface. So we'll fold that over, fresh piece of cloth, and we'll just do the final buff up. Wood Wax 22 is toy safe, so if you're making toys, nursery furniture, anything like that, it's perfectly okay to use for that. And it's my favorite finish for someone who's new to turning. If you've just started turning, the combination of the sanding seal and the wax will finish pretty much anything you can make quickly and simply. We'll turn that off and you can see the shine that we've got on there already. Now if you want to you can put a second coat of Wood Wax 22 on. You need to leave it about 10 or 15 minutes for the first coat to dry off completely. That's still very slightly tacky where it's warm. So leave it 15 or 20 minutes uh, then put a second coat on. Don't sand in between coats and you can put a third coat on if you wish. Again another 15 or 20 minutes. I wouldn't recommend going past three coats of it. It will start to get too soft. If it's a purely decorative item, then you'll get away with it. But if it gets any handling at all, it will start to finger mark very quickly. Wood Wax 22 works great off the lathe as well. You can use it on furniture with a cloth and a little bit of elbow grease, but you can also use it on carved pieces and intricate items. Uh, I've got a piece here that it's gonna, I'm gonna use it on now, but you can also use it on uh, the edges of bowls that have been carved as well. It works perfectly with that. Now for application on something like this, a brush is brilliant and I'm gonna be using one of our small round brushes on this small item here. It's going to do the job perfectly. So we load the brush up, a bit of wax, and we just stipple it on, trying to get it into all the, uh, all the, in, all the areas that we can. I'm not going to worry too much about spreading it really thinly. And I'll just do the, uh, the headdress on this part at the moment for now. And as you can see, we've got some of the wax is 
gathering in the corners there. Again, so not going to worry about that. Get as much of it out as I can. There we go. And we'll leave that a moment or two for the solvents to flash off. And I'm going to polish it using one of our polishing brushes. Now this is the long handled brush, ideal for a small item like this, but you could just as easily use the, the full size hand polishing brush or any of the drill polishing brushes. They'll all work in exactly the same way. So, start buffing up like this. Now the beauty of this is that any surface wax that's been left behind once again will be removed by the brush. There you go, you can see the shine coming up on there and it's really brought the colours to life just that little bit more. This is the bowl we put the shellac sanding sealer on previously and I'm going to finish this one using the microcrystalline wax. But having said that, you can use the wax over any of the sanding sealers in our range, completely compatible. And you can also use this as you can the Woodwax 22 over any of the oils as well. Microcrystalline wax is a petroleum derivative and as the name suggests it's very fine particles in there. Now these knit down to form a very dense coating when you apply them and that coating is very water resistant and it's also very heat resistant. Microcrystalline waxes have a higher melting point than standard waxes and that makes them ideal for things like wooden pens, they're going to be handled a lot. Once again it's in a solvent base to make it easy to use and it spreads very well. Now this is a different solvent to the one used in the Woodwax 22 and this stays wet longer. Now that's a good thing because with microcrystalline wax less really is more and you want to apply it in as thin a coating as you can. So we'll get that onto the cloth. Again using the safety cloth here, not too much there and we're going to spread it as thinly as we can. So it uh, so stays wet longer, gives you plenty of time to spread it. The thinner the coating you can get, the better the end result's going to be. Now because it's a different solvent, we do need to leave this one 15 to 20 minutes to dry off before we can buff it up. So we'll come back and do that in a moment or two. So the, uh, the wax is dry now, ready to be buffed. As always, we're going to let the lathe do the work for us. So we'll pop that on. Same system as before. Soft cuff against there. And buffing up to a nice bright shine. And that's all there is to it. as well as the paste waxes, we also have a couple of stick waxes in our range. We have the, uh, the wood turner stick wax, which is a blend of beeswax and carnauba wax. And we also have the carnauba wax. That's just pure carnauba. So it's very hard wearing, very tough, gives a really bright finish. Just that little bit more difficult to get on with because it is such a hard wearing wax. But a few years ago at a demonstration, someone suggested to us, why don't we make a microcrystalline wax stick? Well, we couldn't think of a good enough reason why not to, so we have, and this is it here. Now the principle for application is the same on all three, so I'll show you this one in action. So we'll just pop that out the tube. All the waxes really benefit from going on top of a sanding sealer of some description. Uh, this one's had the acrylic sanding sealer, but again, completely compatible with any of the sanding sealers in our range. And wax sticks use the friction generated by contact to melt the wax onto the surface. As with all the waxes, you don't want to apply too much of it. So a fairly quick rub across there. And you can see the wax going on. I'll just grab a fresh piece of cloth and we'll polish that up. It 
So this will give you all the benefits of the microcrystalline paste wax, but in a quicker drying stick form. That's it for this time around. Hope you've enjoyed that. There will be more videos coming, so remember to subscribe to our channel so you get notifications of them, and also like and share the channel as well, please. If you have any comments or questions, please do pop them in the uh, comments list below, and we'll be more than happy to answer as many as we can. Cheers for now.